show coming to Amazon. At the time of this recording, it's done. And I watched all of it. Ten episodes dropped on the 1st of May. And I will say this about the show. It is really, really, really good. I went into this with no expectations. Like, I had no idea if I was going to enjoy myself, what I was going to get out of this, because Michael Shore did The Good Place, and that ended the year this came out, right? And I think The Good Place is a brilliant finale to a show. It deals with philosophy and grief and peace and mortality in ways not a lot of shows have. So when another show came out with kind of the same concept as an eternal afterlife, but this time it's in a digital world, by another guy who worked on The Office, I was hesitant. First off, I don't know what I wanted from this show. What did I need? I like Robbie Amell for the most part, but I would hardly say he's a great actor. So I didn't know what to go in expecting. So my expectations were very low, and I watched the entire first season in one go, because that's how much I liked this show. I had a great time watching this. This is what I would call a rare show on Amazon that exceeded my expectations, because I really think Amazon has had a lot of misses in terms of their quality programming. Look, they have a lot of hits, regardless of that, too. But there's just some that, especially in the comedy category, I can only think of, like... Mrs. Maisel being something that's really good for their comedy stuff, but this was really fun. So the basic concept is Robbie Amell plays the character Nathan Brown. He is killed in a self-driving car accident, and he is uploaded to this digital afterlife from his wealthy girlfriend, so now he's living in one of the most posh afterlifes of all time, doesn't feel like he fits in, and it slowly escalates into a kind of will-they-won't-they they romance of another character played by Andy Allo. I don't think that's spoilers just because it's kind of in the marketing that these two are going to have a prominent relationship in the show, whether that be friendship or something more. It's really interesting. I like the idea because there's a lot of good ideas represented here. I really like the idea of different types of a digital afterlife based on what you can afford because your family has to keep making payments. I think that's very interesting. I like the idea of the add-ons. I like the idea of the black market, of the AI. A lot of that stuff I think is very well done. It's really funny too. And it's not funny in a way where something like The Good Place or The Office even, where you're just making the joke and you know it's there. This is more subvert in its comedy where it's like you think about it after you hear it and that's where the comedy comes from. Like I said, Robbie Amell is somehow a very good lead in this. He does really well. And I, I, I said I'm not the big Robbie Amell guy, but I really liked what he did here. He's able to play kind of a simple guy, and I don't mean like he's stupid, but you can tell he's not the most educated guy in the room, and I think that really adds to the benefit of his character and his story going through this, because he's kind of thrown into the situation, he doesn't really know what to expect from it, so he's trying to make the most of it, but he's not having a good time. And it's a really fun way to see that too. I do not remember her name, but the actress that plays his girlfriend in this, Ingrid, she does a great job. Just her character could easily become one that is disliked and you, you're not supposed to care for her. She's easily the Roy in the Jim and Pam relationship, but she becomes something much more entirely and you see the vulnerable side of her character and her nature and I think it benefits the show so much. There's a lot of good in this show, a lot of great side characters. The therapist dog is really funny. His friend Luke is really funny. There's like an eight-year-old boy who kind of has like a I want to grow up and get laid vibe. I think that's really funny too, which makes sense because if you go into an afterlife, I always thought like you don't age in an afterlife. So if you're stuck as an eight-year-old boy and everyone around you is like these adults and they're elderly people, they've lived a full life, but you're stuck there as a child, you're not getting any you're not getting any ladies is all I'm saying. So I think that's a really interesting concept that was really fun to see explored here. It's a breezy 10 episodes too. Like we're talking the first episode I think is 45 minutes and then the rest are under 30 minutes, which is a great thing to do for a comedy because you should be about the jokes and not the story sometimes for comedy. There's a great story in here too. Easily the, the romance angle of the two leads could have got really annoying and it didn't. Like at least... For the most part, it didn't get that annoying. You you see sometimes where it's going because it's kind of predictable in that nature. But then again, every romantic situation can be kind of predictable based on what we've seen before it. So you're not going to fault it on that. But you, you like the characters. They have really great chemistry. They look like they're having fun. This is a really fun show. It's something about this just spoke to what we needed in a time like this where... We are in a digital age. And I, I, I'll talk... I'm doing another review right after this and we'll talk about it. I... 
there's this idea of like free will and the digital afterlife kind of black mirror kind of stuff coming up and in, i think it's become kind of troped at this point and it's only been around for a couple years so just the, having it in this context be this fun lighthearted thing i think it works really well for what this series is and upload is a really fun watch you guys should get amazon to check it out and then check out marvelous mrs mazel while you're at it but it's a fun lighthearted show in the vein of the good place in the vein of marvelous mrs mazel so you guys should check it out i think it's well worth the watch so thank you so much for watching this review i'll catch you in the next video all the information for my stuff is in the description below so stay safe out there have fun good luck tsunami studios